Hi, I'm Saine Inc. and this is Casual Sketching Friday episode 4, which comes out of Saturday because I was lazy and didn't upload the video yesterday. <laughs> but on to the t- today's topic. Today I'm going to talk to you about my favorite sketching supply, which is fountain pens. Uh, I use fountain pens in my sketchbook really often, and I have a few things why I like to use them fountain pens. First, the disclaimer thingy. Fountain pen ink isn't light fast at all. I have done my own testing, and they fade really cl- really quickly if they expose it to light. So that's important to know that don't use fountain pens in your finish set artwork. Uh, even well, you can use, but then you really need to make prints out of it. Or use pigment-based ink. I have a pigment-based black ink in my twist that I'm using right now. But there's the problem with that ink. It is high maintenance ink. If it <laughs> dry your pen, you are really in trouble. It may never work ever again. So I really suggest that if you are new to found the base, please don't use pigment-based ink if you aren't really ready for cleaning your pen often and maybe losing it. But I really like these fountain pens in my sketchbooks uh, because they are really easy for my hands. Uh, with pulp point pen you have to uh, push it a little harder to get uh, they make get to make marks. But with fountain pens it's really enough that the tip is just touching the paper. I have tendency to got wrist pain if I travel for long, but fountain pens have made it possible to travel long and I don't get any uh, wrist with fatigue or things like that. Also with fountain pens you can get uh, different nibs. I have here a needle point nib and some normal extra fine nibs. And you can get inks in every possible color you can imagine. And fountain pens are really ecological too, because you can uh, use one pen and use different ink inks in it, and I- when it's run out, you can refill it. Uh, fountain pens aren't just limited for line drawing, because if you use water with your fountain pen ink, it will spread out like washes, so if you tr- draw your uh, lines with fountain pen and then go over with r- water brush, you can get really nice washes and like shading and those kind of things. And they are really versatile for drawing because it, you can uh, change the nibs or have different fountain pens with different nibs and get thin lines and thick lines. And the best thing is that these have really durable nibs. They like don't wear out of out like some micron pens have wear out. This doesn't wear out. You can use them like forever. Also, modern fountain pens are really e- easy to use and they are really durable like the Lamy uh, Safari that I have here, the lime, lime green one. It is uh, made with tough pa- plastic and you can throw it in your pencil case and it will come along really well and doesn't breaking or leaking. Uh, also my both Twispy, Twispy Echo that I use here and Twispy 5 either that you can see on the left side. They are pr- both usually in my pencil case and they work just fine and haven't cracked or anything. The clear plastic is really tough. Almost all of my fountain pens are piston fillers. That Lamy one and that long black one is with this Parker Urban. They are my two uh, cartridge converter fountain pens. But even if they have cartridge converters, they can take so much uh, so much ink that you really don't run out of ink if you have full full uh, converter or cr- cartridge and if you use c- cartridge it's really easy to change on the go also fountain pen ink is really great for sketchbook because it isn't like some ink that it's like marker ink always seep through fountain pen ink usually stays on the top and it doesn't bleed through so it makes your sketchbook look much cleaner and also it doesn't m- smudge when it's dry so it's keep sketches looking really clean. Most fountain pens have clips, so you can see here that I use my sketchbook for clipping my fountain pens. So when you are drawing outside or something where you like have no proper table, it's really easy to keep fountain pens in place because you can clip them your sketchbook and take them whenever you need it. So they are not rolling around like my regular pencil used to do when I 
sketching outside. And for the last thing that why I personally use fountain pens are because I really like to collect them and try different fountain try, try different nips and trying different kind of inks and it's really nice to like have to this was thing to explore and it really is isn't that expensive because if you buy just one pen and different kind of inks like diamond makes really good ink and it's cost here in Europe like three e- euro per small bottle that you can use for a long time so it's really great way to like try new things and and also I think that there is really great nips for art artist like Needlepoint that I got custom for uh, fpnips.com F- and then I have the extra fine nips in my most pens but my vintage pens that I bought I have bought or used it once so I really haven't to choose for the nips but some of them have really beautiful flexible nips that you can like make huge line and then make a really thin line when I'm not pressing so they are really nice uh, tools for work because you you I personally find that I haven't found two fountain fountain must be the same but I have mostly vintage pens so that's not true for like modern pens but that's for was for my casual sketching Friday uh, today hope you like it and if you want to see more uh, subscribe my channel and I do casual sketching Fridays every every Fridays my larger, uh, no, more larger videos will be on Wednesdays and on Sundays I make those l- nice little cozy videos and little sneak peek about uh, ca- coming up Sunday video it will be watercolor thanks for watching and see you next time bye